Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Rod, and I'm here to do my video entry for Steve Carlson's 1,000 sub contest. First off, Mr. Carlson, cheers and congratulations, 1,000 subs. Very, very cool. I'm sure everybody's seen the videos going around. He wants us to name our go-to albums. He said five. It'd be hard to get it down to five, um, but that's what he said. Um, no compilations and no greatest hits. Hey, Steve, what happens if our go-to album was the greatest hits? Just asking. Just asking. I'm asking for a friend, actually. But it's your contest, and we're going to do it your way. And um, my go-to albums change a lot, but the core of them stay the same. Um, for instance, Johnny Winter. Um, there's always going to be one of his in rotation, it seems like. That's going to be in my top five, top six, seven albums that I'm always playing. And this one's second winner. Look how young he was. That's his brother, Edgar. Um, this is Hustle Down in Texas. Or, excuse me, this is second winner with uh, the song Hustle Down in Texas. And I love that song. This whole album is cool. It's three sides to this album. One side is intentionally intentionally left blank. And um, in the liner notes, it tells you it was um, more music than would fit on a single album. It wasn't enough for a double. And um, they didn't want to cheat you. They just give you a single album, so actually you're getting like a bonus half album. Johnny Winter, second winner. Uh, phenomenal musician. I've talked about him a lot. Texas born blues rock. Um, guy played Woodstock. He played up until his death. Um, he played two nights before he died over in Switzerland. So he, he, he was constantly touring and playing guitar and He's always one of his albums heavy in my rotation. Um, but this is the one I picked because this was one of the first albums I got by him and absolutely one of my favorites. Same could be said with this guy, Bob Dylan, another lifetime favorite of mine. Been listening to his music forever and um, first album I heard by him first album I heard was his first album he did my sister had a copy of it and man I just I really dug there was something about it man I just I really liked it and I followed his career um, in my teen years 20s and I'm going to take down Jerry for a minute he won't mind this album, Dylan and the Dead, is another one that I go to a lot. Um, I love Bob Dylan. I like his songwriting. Um, yeah, he uh, he takes a lot of slack for his live performances because he just kind of just doesn't care. But Bob Dylan, definitely one of my go-to albums. And lately it's been this one. Um, it varies. And this one I like a lot because I was a music director of a station in Texas when this came out. And I remember putting it in the booth and marking that all songs were okay for airplay. And very rarely does that happen. Usually you mark one or two songs. Then you may go back and mark a couple more as acceptable. But this album, we were all on it, man. Just heads deep. Bob Dylan. Uh, let's see. If I'm wanting jazz, I turn to this guy, Chet Baker. Got into his music in the late 90s. A friend of mine 
turned me on to him. Chet Baker, really enjoy his music. One of my favorite trumpet players. And this album reminds me of moving to Knoxville because I got a job at a place called the Disc Exchange. I was working for WDVX as their music director, supplementing my income by working at the Disc Exchange. It used to be in Knoxville. And a guy that worked there said, dude, if you want to get into jazz, this is like 98, I guess. You want to get into jazz, check out this man right here, Chet Baker. Um, I've talked about him before. Very rough life. Um, hell of a musician. And he is definitely one of my go-tos. And of course, no video of mine would be complete without the Rolling Stones. I picked this album because I bought it in junior high school. My uh, eighth grade girlfriend, her name was Angie, and I thought it was so cool. They had the song Angie, and I remember buying this, 15 years old, Puppy Love, and uh, this is still one of my favorite Stones albums. It's a solid album. has a song, Dancing with Mr. D, and... Um, you know, there was controversy about that song. Is he talking about the devil? Uh, what the heck, is he talking about another guy? Um, you could hear screams in the background in that song. And uh, there was all kinds of crazy rumors that was recorded, like at a, a black mass and all kinds of stupid stuff. Um, actually, what he's talking about is death. Mr. D, keep your hands off of me. Anyway, great Stones album from the world's greatest rock and roll band. And the Stones are always in my go-to. And I go through periods. Sometimes you know, it's that album I turn to for months at a time. Then it may be Exile. Then uh, Sticky Fingers. But that is definitely one of my go-to albums. Has been for, oh God, almost 40 years. That's, that's 30 eight years. That's scary stuff, man. Um, Grateful Dead, always in my go-to, and it depends on what it might be um, I'm, I'm feeling. If I'm just chilling and relaxing, I'm going for American Beauty. Solid album. Trucking, um, Candyman, Friend of the Devil, Boxer Rain, Love the dead. I've said that many, many times. Consider myself a deadhead. Um, but if I feel like rocking more, um, you know, I'm kicking it a little bit. I'm going with some 80s dead. The 80s Grateful Dead. In the dark. Touch of gray on it. Throwing stones. Phenomenal, phenomenal album. Had the CD when it came out. Got the album. And it's always been one of my solid turn to albums. Um... Grateful Dead just make you feel, for, for me, it just makes me feel good. It's just feel good music, man. Um, having a hard day, having a good day. It's just something I like listening to. And lately, this has been high on my playlist for the Grateful Dead. It's an acoustic live concert they did. This was a record store day release for 2019, this year, April. And um, I didn't buy it that day. It was, it was a lot of money, and I had other things to get. Long story short, I got a really, really good deal on it on eBay. I paid more. I mean, I paid less for it than the guy probably did to buy it on the day that it came out. And uh, another one of my go-to albums. This is an Americana, alt country, whatever you want to call it. Another Record Store Day album, Jeff Tweedy. Founder, leader of the band Wilco, also from Uncle Tupelo. This is Warmer. It was a follow-up to his album Warm that had came out in 2018. And it could have been a double record set. I actually like this one better than Warm. This is Warmer. Jeff Tweedy. Just really good, simple lyrics. Just um, If you're into alt country, Americana folk, whatever you want to call it, Jeff Tweedy, very, very talented guy, and uh, what kind of pissed me off about this album was about two months ago, he was like one of the first people to re-release his Record Store Day album as a regular album, 
And I was like really glad I got this at the time. And now I'm like, I could have got something else and still pick this up. But hindsight, right? Um, anyway, Steve Carlson, I uh, appreciate your channel. You got some great videos, brother. I'm glad I had an opportunity to do this contest. Yeah, I added more than just five. I could have added any one of these. Albums. Beautiful Day, Jerry Garcia, my man Willie Nelson, Bruce Springsteen is definitely one of my go-tos, especially that album. But Mike Jam on Vinyl, I knew you were going to use it. Uh, let's see. Hendrix, that's definitely one of my go-tos. Love that album. Love that album. The Beatles. Um, that Hendrix album um, came out think 2016 I believe and it's got a killer killer version of uh, Woodstock Jimi Hendrix on guitar Stephen Stills singing the vocals uh, I heard one reviewer <clears throat> excuse me I heard one reviewer say that it was like Crosby Stills and Nash on acid and there's one song on here I should pull it down. Um, there's one song on there that he actually plays bass and lets Johnny Winter play guitar. And that's how much respect he had for this man right here, Johnny Winter. Um, they were great friends. He really admired. Anyway, yeah, Johnny plays guitar on one of the tracks. Hendrix plays bass on that track. Phenomenal album. Two record set, um, that's another one of my go-tos. I probably have a good 20 albums that I just constantly kind of gravitate to. But He said five, so I did what I could do to get it close to five. Steve, again, congratulations, brother. Great channel, great video. Peace, guys. Be good to each other.